Okay, right off the bat here is a jump right out of the parking lot. Brandon found that jump, and those two views are me both on board and to the side of the same jump. There's Jesse, and then this next shot, um, Brandon and I are waiting for Jesse, and Jesse comes up and said, What are you guys waiting for? <laughs> Let's get moving. <laughs> so eager. Um, the first time you get out there. So, um, here we're very close to the parking lot, and a little bit of rollers here, but then right away, Brandon has a little issue. Right, right here, Brandon goes to jump and ends up getting stuck. And I included this to show how easy they are to get out. See Brandon just puts his foot down and lets the bike go without Brandon's weight and on we go. It's just that quick and simple. This next view here, these rollers are super steep. Like nearly as steep as anything I've ever been on dirt. And the snow bike goes right through them. Even though they're a long machine, that's pretty neat. Um, Jesse just tipped over here show you how easy it is to get back up. I can just leave my bike. Give Jesse a little hand since he's down in that hole. My bike's just sitting there waiting. And again here, I wave Brandon around. But Jesse's so eager, he just takes right off. So. This is one of my favorite shots. It's a really steep slide hill. If you want to angle the trees to the ground, you can tell. And if you look around here, see how quickly I climbed. You know, probably at least 30 feet. You have to throw the debris off the bike every once in a while. If you watch to the left, See, there's nobody there right now. That, just that quick, this is in front of me. It's really fun to ride next to each other. The snow was great on this trip. See a little shot of Brandon. In this spot here, it looks like I'm in a dead end. Just get through that real quick. The bikes can go through so many small tree gaps compared to a normal bell. It's so much fun. I snagged a little tree there. And then this trip was on Easter. So you just kind of keep your eye out and you see a little Easter bunny. I had to do a slow mo of that. We probably hit more trees than we need to. I've ripped a few pieces of clothing and can be hard on those radiator cows. But um, it's pretty fun riding in the tight stuff. As you see, any of the side hills don't really matter. I'm waiting on the other guys and it just takes one second and you can hear them coming, so keep moving. So the elevation here, I can't cut and say for sure, but it's probably at least 8,000 feet. From here we get into a wide open spot. But just move back down and duck in the trees. With all those obstacles, it's quite fun in the trees. And see how tight the trees are. And right there, that kind of sends my stomach because it's so steep that just as I crest over that hill, it's so steep coming into this downhill. 
and this snow is um, not quite what I would call fluff, but it is certainly deep snow. I think I hit that tiny tree, and you see all this snow that comes down afterwards. That's just because I hit one of the bigger trees, and all the snow is falling off of that tree. Now here's Brandon. He hits a jump better than the rest of us. We so show the same jump from both sides. This shot was taken by his son, Kyler, who's eight. It's a real good shot. Real good filming for an eight-year-old. It's about perfect for oh, that hill right there. It was super steep. About perfect conditions of where the sun's starting to come out. And then here is another steep downhill. And that side hill there is pretty neat because I, I know my handlebars were close to the edge. Close to the snow, I should say. With the sound of the bikes, you can tell if your buddies are behind you. Likewise, you can tell how close you are to the person in front of you because usually they knock some snow off the trees. And so if you see the snow falling, that's where he that tells you how close you are. Now this log right here was essentially bare, and I was able to go across it pretty well. The skeg on the bottom of the ski can hang up on stuff because it's not like a traditional carbide but it worked pretty well in that situation. I think that's a pretty extreme situation. In this snow you can see like Jesse's feet are almost pushing the snow. That's how high it is. And when you follow in, it's kind of fun to take slightly different lines. And that tree knocked my camera to the side. Now, in this much powder, oh, here I left Jesse's line and went to chase Brandon. So this is Brandon's line and following him. In this much powder, if you can get in the other guy's track, you can accelerate pretty good, and then if you're making little jumps, you still get the benefit of the powder, so that's quite a bit of fun. So all of us before were riding Mountain Sleds Pro RMKs in 2013s, and we all loved them, but these snow bikes are so much better. They are pretty close to the limit of their power. So here I would say I certainly have enough power. But if I want to go quite a bit faster, the bike would be limiting me. Um, but again, to find snow like this really isn't all that typical. And it really matters if you're going up a grade or down a grade. This whole clip of me chasing Brandon, we're going up a grade. Now, there, I think I'm stuck, and then I just give it a shot. It makes it out really well, so I think there's a big benefit in the fact that the ski packs the snow ahead of the track, so it improves, compared to a snowmobile, it improves the effectiveness of the track. And certainly they're 100 pounds lighter in the snowmobile, so um, that's a big advantage also. But when you're down on that much horsepower, you take everything you can get. So this snow is deep enough to where um, the less you have to do with your feet, the better. So that's why for the brake, we always move the track brake up to your front brake 
Jesse has a recluse, but Brandon and I don't, and we get along just fine and enjoy it. And since we're going uphill, I'm pretty much giving my bike about everything it has. And since it's five speed and they're really tight, um, I kind of, I probably have mine geared too high, but that's so I can go down a smooth track fairly quick. My bike in Iowa will top out at 60. Here, Brandon just ran out of gas. So, where Jesse pulled up there. Let's see how good it is. Now, this is the man of the video. This is Tyler Hagedorn. He's eight years old. And this is uh, right by the parking lot. Um, so at eight years old, you know, they don't even know. Uh, his main bike would be a KTM with a centrifugal clutch, so he's not an expert by the uh, working the clutch. But he does ride frequently. He's a motocross racer. So, and you can see, he did make a turn there. He made a gradual 90 degree turn. And here, Brandon is just deciding, hey, Kyler's got the hang of it, I'll let him go. And then that little dot shows how far Brandon let Kyler get away because he's that comfortable with this skill level. But coming up here, you'll hear uh, Kyler's voice. <laughs> how was it? Fun. Fun? You done? Yeah. All right. This is my wife, Chantel. Um, it was getting pretty warm. The snow was kind of wet and heavy. Uh, when you take off with these snow bikes, you really want to give it quite a bit of gas. And she, Chantel's not used to the clutch either, but she's doing just fine, shifting gears here. So here we are. Kyler almost made it to the top. Somehow, we're gonna to try to follow me out this one. Bad idea. <laughs> now you get a scoop. Bill here yeah. coming up with Jesse with his three-year-old daughter, Kaya. And my bike is a 350. And it uh, seems to hold up with the 450s. It's certainly not as fast, but it's just barely noticeable. So there was an uh, eight-year-old and two nine-year-old boys on the trip, and they both spent a lot of time on those big snowmobiles. So they were pretty spoiled boys. Brandon's showing the rabbit ears, holding them up above his head. That cliff, there's a long story here, there. And then this was an Easter egg hunt we did in the hotel lobby. These are a whole series of pictures of the Hagedorns. Pretty sure it's at Easter that none of these kids will forget. This is little Jesse Lee's family. And we, here we took our dog Shadow with us for a little bit. And Chantel blamed this one on Angel. There's Angel running the controls by himself. Chantel giving the thumbs up. That's, I thought that was a good shot. And there's the man of the hour. Hey. Person. Hop. Hop like a bunny. Oh, let's get out of the mud. Get out of the mud. And let's both hop. Ready, set, go. Hop, hop. Good bunny. Bye bye. Close and say bye bye.